Uh, thanks for being here, right? All right, so um, today I'm going to talk about something, and I actually would like your kind of immediate feedback while I'm talking, so not at the end. All right, so it's totally fine. I can take it. If you don't like what I'm showing you, I'm, I'm sort of old. I can <laughs> kind of take it over time. So, um, so I'm Matt German Prey. Uh, I'm on the CHAOS board. Um, I'm also a faculty member uh, at the University of Nebraska Omaha. I've kind of been around the CHAOS project since the start. So um, it's just really great to see everybody here and all of these really great ideas. Uh, there's a lot to take in today <laughs> from, from my own perspective and, and think about how this, this all fits, right? Um, and then also I was working with an undergraduate student, uh, Matt Snell on this idea of, of DNI badging, so diversity and inclusion badging, and let me talk a little bit about this. Again, I would really, really like your reactions to this, all right? And I mean this in all honesty. Um, so metrics obviously help inform the way we think about complex issues, and the list that I have here, DNI, value, evolution, risk, and common, these are the working groups within the chaos project, all right? And so what that means is that there's a, a group of folks uh, dedicated to taking a look at, at metrics associated with DNI, evolution, value, risk, so on and so forth, right? All right. Um, some of the, and they all follow the goal question metric approach that you heard. So every one of these working groups kind of follows this approach, right? Uh, some of the metrics in these working groups kind of lend themselves um, to be put into practice fairly easily. So one of the, the goals in the chaos project is so, right, we have the metrics that we put forward, right? And if you took a look at any of the metrics we have published, they're, they're markdown, they're, they're documents, right? So the documents by themselves are not terribly impactful. So they have to be put into practice in some form or fashion. So if we have a, a metric on something along value, if we have a metric on dependencies, the metric in a document doesn't do us a whole lot of good. So we've got to get it out into practice to actually see it work, right? And if we see it work, we can actually start thinking about it, we can actually start seeing the impact it has, and so on and so forth. Um, within some of these working groups, some of the metrics that we have kind of lend themselves to be put into practice a little bit more easily than others, all right? So for example, um, commits, right? We can take a look at, at commits in a GitHub repo and you've seen tooling that has been able to, to extract commits and, and put it into a display and that's great because it's one of the metrics and we can actually kind of see it through into a, a, something that is published or something that's in practice. Um, in the risk working group, we have licenses. So we have tooling that we can use. Are you familiar with Phosology? Or scan code. There are a lot of there are a number of tools out there, and we can draw on these tools to extract licenses out of out of software packages, and display those the license results to a screen, right? And so again, fairly fairly straightforward to do. Um, technical solution. Some are harder than others, but um, DNI is not that way. So DNI is not. Diversity and inclusion is not something that we can just look at a repository and write software for and, and, and see it, right? So far. <laughs> Again, if you have any comments, you can feel free to speak up. And so um, it's not easily derived, but, but DNI is a, is a core working group in the Chaos Project, and it's, it's really core to understanding the health of an open source project. So how do we take what is being done in the DNI working group and bring it forward, right? So again, a metric alone is, is not great. We need to bring these things forward. So I spend a lot of time on this. For those of you that know me in the Chaos Project, I spend a lot of time on thinking about how the metrics that are produced can actually be put into practice across any working group. And so. This one's a, a, a bit harder. So um, I, I run, and when I run, actually, 
it, I think it's kind of appropriate. It's snow, and I learned, I just read the book The Giver, and I learned if you think about snow, you get colder. So for this room, if you all just think about <laughs> snow, perhaps you get colder. Um, so I run, I run in the winter, I run with my dog, um, and I do it to think about things like chaos things, right? That's, if anybody else runs or bikes or does anything like that, it's just to get into a headspace to think about things. So I'm going to tell you what I, what I have been bringing forward within the chaos community as a way to bring the DNI metrics forward, all right? So you got to kind of take a step to the side for a second here. So um, and just bear with me here while I explain this. So there's um, called the Journal of Open Source Software. So for those of you that are looking in the scientific space, if you know the Journal of Open Source Software, it's a way to publish your software, all right? And so the Journal of Open Source Software, does anybody know Arfon Smith? So Arfon Smith was uh, in the GitHub Open Source Program Office uh, at the time, I believe, that he started the Journal of Open Source Software. And the intention here was that if you're an academic and you're publishing software, that you can actually go through a process and actually have that software published and you have a home for it, right? And there's a, a DOI, there's a, a way to kind of market. And the way that the Journal of Open Source Software works is that a developer or a team of developers submit their software to JOS, all right? And JOS, it, it's on GitHub, and JOS actually takes a look at the software, and there's a series of, of things that they take a look at. Um, so, for example, I don't know if I have it on here. Yeah, read me, tests, code commenting. It's a long laundry list of, say, maybe 20 different things, maybe even 30 different things that they take a look at with respect to the software. And so, if you as a contributor, you know, looking to get your work published in JOS. If you as a contributor um, are missing something, a reviewer will actually tell you, all right? And it's all done on an issue in GitHub, transparently and in the open, right? And the intention here is to kind of have an open dialogue, an open and transparent dialogue on you publishing your work in a way to, to move it forward and improve that work so that it can be published because it meets particular criteria. Make sense? So this is, this is the model, right? So this is the model that I was thinking about. Um, again, problems are openly discussed and then the open source software is published. Um, so the way that it works, this is actually from Joss. I, I've learned that you can't see this in the back. Um, but what it is is there's a a simple web page, and you just type the title and the software version and the repository where this thing is located. You know, you kind of do your due diligence to get this submitted or to get this all in there, and you hit click submit. Um, on there, if you actually go to JOS and you just go into their issues, you can actually see everybody who has submitted a piece of software to be reviewed. Um, you can see the number of comments. Doesn't really matter the number, but you can see that this is open public comment. And you make changes. So if I don't like what I'm seeing as a reviewer, you make changes to that software. All right, so this is just taken a couple days ago. Uh, here's, a, here's a piece of software under review at the moment. Um, and then obviously within each issue, there's open discussion about what is missing and what is not missing. And again, based on kind of passing this, you get published in the Journal of Open Source Software. So you remember this is about DNI badging. So just <laughs> don't forget, this isn't about software, Journal of Open Source Software. So DNI badging at work, what if we could do the same thing for DNI badging, right? So here's where you can tell me I'm completely off the rails uh, or say, interesting, all right? <laughs> so. The idea, the idea is, <laughs> in, in chaos, we have, a, within the working group, we have a couple of what are called focus areas, all right? And within the focus areas are different metrics. So speaker demographics is a metric, family friendliness is a metric, and so on and so forth, all right? So as an event, you would submit a request for a DNI event badge by saying, we are a project that attends to monitoring speaker demographics, monitoring attending demographics, 
taking a look at a code of conduct for an event and monitoring family friendliness. Making sense so far? Yes. So we don't ascribe value to this. So we don't, we're really just saying, show us how you are attending to attendee demographics. Tell us the ways that you're doing this. Do you have it published? Have you done this historically, right? So tell us how you're attending to this particular metric. We don't tell you the particular, you know, the, the pie, right? We don't tell you that certain forms of that pie are better or worse than another. We just want to know that you're attending to this issue. Same with attendee demographics. Again, we don't want to tell you that, that the attendee demographics here in this room right now are good or bad. We just want to understand that you're taking a look at the attendee demographics, recording it, and presenting that information. Tell us the process by which you're going through. Show us your code of conduct. Show us your family friendliness support at your event. So these are real metrics that have been put forward in the chaos project. And the idea would be is that as an event, you would submit a request for a DNI event badge Right? And we would say, great, we accept your request. The review for that badge would occur open and transparently with the people who are reviewing. So I would, we would need reviewers, and there are a bunch of problems, there are a bunch of issues with this. Yes? So you could just be explicit about what you mean by badge. Yeah, so uh, it would look a little like that. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be something that you would put on your web page for your conference. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's that that we've gone through so again the authors submit the and we can do this at the project level as well now we don't have there aren't a ton of metrics on events and there aren't a ton of metrics at the project side right now but we're building these right this is part of what we're doing in chaos so the request would be to re receive this badge through an open and transparent process that is completely recorded out in the open What are your thoughts on this? Yes. I'm just curious, what's the demand for this? Like, what's the origin for it? So the, well, two questions. Those are two different questions, right? So the origin is that as we produce metrics in chaos, we need to find a way to get those metrics into practice. And so certain metrics lend themselves towards software tooling. And certain metrics do not. And so the work that's being done in DNI is not necessarily a set of metrics that lend themselves towards tooling. So we have to find ways to bring those metrics forward and have meaning in the world. So that's the origin of it. What is the demand for it? I don't know. So to be determined. Yes, uh, a lot of questions. So I'll go ahead. Two Let's questions. Go. First, what does long-term accountability look like holding to these standards? Have you thought of much about beyond the initial, like, you get it? Yes. Now what? Um, yes and no. So yes, I hear your question. How that l looks fully fleshed out, no. Not yet. And the second question is, and maybe, I, maybe it was mentioned and I missed it, but like, how, is, um, how are these defined? Like, who has influence over the criteria for the badges? Also, an, another question that we thought about, I actually, let me wait for both of sure. those onto the next sure. slide. Yes. Um, you mentioned the events. Yes. Registration and attendance sometimes overlap. Sometimes they're almost completely different. No shows, whatever. Sure. Um, it might vary on you. You grant a badge, and it doesn't hold up. Well, I mean that might be part of the discussion. That just looking at an attendee, a registration list is not enough. You actually have to think about how you would sample the audience to or understand demographics. Doing something which is provisional initially, and then. Fully accepted when maybe yeah yeah I would answer the question about the demand um, because this set of metrics not only does it lend itself to software tooling but the the metric itself that you have this lends itself to an outward facing kind of announcement because nobody's gonna really care if my time to close PR issues is improving like out in the world but there are a lot of people who would like, I believe would feel safer 
being a part of an event or part of a community if there were some sort of standardization you know and again I hear what you're saying you got to work a lot of this there, stuff out, yes right but that to me would be a good place to start for a demand if you could actually work these bugs out yes this is a proposal right this is this is straight a proposal and that's partly a call for help <laughs> so, in the same form yeah I mean the other comment I want to make I mean I forget the name of it there's a similar badging program for security that LF is doing and when I so when I looked at that when I was at the LF when I was talking to different community members taking my LF hat off I don't care if you we get a badger or not this is a wonderful checklist yeah. for for like events like yeah. I mean for whatever reason family friendliness might be cost prohibit prohibitive you may not be able to do it but I think having a checklist in and of itself is pretty helpful these are the things that you want to think about for your community yeah. and your for your events whether you get a badger or not right? yeah. so yeah Fair. Yeah. yeah, I I totally agree with that. Yeah. I think it, we did the the, the core infrastructure initiative, right. and it was really uh, very helpful to to have a clear focus and to be able to move things forward well. Right. And I would I would say this is very good for DNI because you do get a clear list, and then you can go to the, whoever you need to speak to and be like, no, we actually need to take this seriously. We need to put resources to it. We need yep. to do these steps, and it just helps. It helps to move the boundary or, or the bar of what we think is normal, what should be done, and it yep. helps us to do that work. Yeah, I think the, the badge would be a way to kind of certify that you're attending to these issues. Yeah. Yep. Other thoughts so far? Yeah. Event size. Okay, the What's that? Yeah. Event size, like uh, sure. f f family infrastructure would make sense if you're doing a multiple day event. That may be very Not fair. Not for half a day. Yes, I mean, there, yes, I, I agree. There, I probably can't work through every case yeah, right but, right but, now. But, but I think you, having it as a checklist for organizers and I'm saying as an yep. organizer myself would be great. That's to also follow up on demand. Very fair. We have two minutes. Um, so again, why do this? Okay, so here are the here are the challenges that I had kind of thought. To, so one of the challenges is if we do this uh, on GitHub in an open and transparent way, every badge request requires at least one review. The problem. It, there's there's humans that need to be involved in this. Um, it's just, it's just <laughs> yeah. So, can I do a, a humble promotion here for open source diversity? Sure. So there is a inter project community collaboration around open source diversity. Open source diversity org open source diversity in Freenode mm -hmm. and in Matrix. Sure. I think that's a community that there's not a specific set of goals in place for that community, but it's a place where there are a lot of minds across different diversity and inclusion efforts cool. in multiple free software communities. Right I think that would be an excellent place to get more feedback on these ideas and get a wider view of people who aren't in the room. Right on. And I know that's not the only place, but it's one of the best places I know. I just wanted to put an insert for that. It might I, be a place to drive it forward. I've been told to stop. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> uh, you can just kind of read the others. Volume may be an issue, of course. Um, and then time. The, the community will release more metrics over time. So how, there's early badging may look different than later badging. So there's just a, there's a time component in there. So anyway, uh, am I done? Like that was questions and everything? Yes. All right, thank you everybody. <laughs>